All right, here's our icebreaker question for the guests of the hour. James Kwong of the Village People, the question is, when you were little, what did you want to be? I wanted to be a professional baseball player. All right, there you go. <laughs> that was it. I like it. All right. The Village People, actor model. Welcome to StarWarsEntertainment.tv, Indie100.com Radio, and UBN. Welcome, James Kwong. Thank you very much. Thank cool. you. I was excited to come here. It's been a long, long time. Yeah, it's been a, yeah, it's, it's a long time in the making. We've been actually trying to arrange something for a while. Um, and then, you know, I know you were on tour, and then obviously COVID hit, and all that stuff, and, and then back and forth stuff, and then finally... You are here. Welcome, my man. Uh, I made it. I made it in the helicopter. <laughs> and cool. I saw some of that also kind of snuck in, uh, kind of right beside you as well. Just snuck in with, with a cool dive as well. Yeah. We yeah. also have a, a dear a, a dear friend uh, of yours right now also. Yes, a, a good friend of mine, Lauren Willman. Yeah, okay, you're an extraordinary chef. <laughs> Exceptional chef. Chef mm -hmm. and a photographer. You know, we're going to have to test this out one day because, I, you know, you could be saying all this folklore and legends and... So I was born in Tigard, Oregon. Um, uh, my my mom is Taiwanese. My dad is from Hong Kong, and I was there till probably about when I was six years old, and then I moved to Eastern Washington, Tri Cities. Oh wow! Yeah. And um, did you know growing up that you always wanted to get in showbiz, whether it become an actor, model, or even a singer? Or you know, did you did you know growing up that you wanted to do that? You know, um, when I was growing up, I grew up on the Columbia River in Washington. So I just, I, I played wiffle ball. I went down to the river. I speared fish. I went fishing every day. I caught crawdads. And uh, it's just a really small town. And uh, that's all I really did. I had a BB gun. I shot birds all the time. I was just, <laughs> I was just a crazy little kid running around. Yeah. Anyone that's inspired you? to uh, become either an actor or model or, you know, a uh, singer, anything like that? You know, I, um, I, you know, I was, I was really focused on the baseball. I, I've always watched, like, Tupac, Biggie back in the day. I always listened to rap music, 90s hip-hop, and I always watched MTV, the Music Wars, and I just always watched that stuff. And uh, I don't know, maybe that triggers something, but uh, I was just... I was really focused on baseball all the way up until I graduated from college, and then kind of a story. So I I was I was living in the fraternity system in UW or the, the Greek system, and uh, after after baseball I just got into the restaurant business, and uh, actually I was hanging out with a football player, and uh, he got recruited by some agent in Seattle modeling agent. And she asked, she invited him to come down to the agency. So me and him and another football buddy of his went down there. And it's just, just a funny story because uh, we went down there and he literally walked in to the office to meet the agent and came out in like 15 seconds. And I was like, whoa, what happened? And she was like, he was like, oh, my neck's too big. So his buddy went in there and he went in there and came out in like 10 seconds. And he's like, oh, I'm too short. So I walked in there and she's like, oh man, like how tall are you? Like what's your background? This and I kind of told her. And she goes, oh man, you look really exotic. I'd love to set up a shoot. And so that's kind of what started the, the modeling. So I started doing runway shows like Bond, Nordstrom and stuff and was just working on my portfolio while waiting on tables. In wow, Seattle. well yeah. speaking of exotic, did you have, yeah. now did you tell them that you always, uh, you know, did you did they know that you maybe wanted to get in the entertainment industry? Um, you know, I was working in the restaurant business. My dad also worked in the restaurant business. They, you know, they, you know, they're the hardcore Asian parents. You know, they always wanted me to go work at Microsoft, do Amazon, and uh, you know, I just kind of went my own route. Both my sisters both graduated as well. They worked in pharmacy, you know, pharmaceutical suits sales, and uh, I just. I just couldn't, I just stayed in the restaurant business, just followed my heart, and then I ended up moving to California in 2000. Yeah. Wow. Now, it, it just... I definitely seen some of their videos, and I always just saw people, like, wearing their costumes and stuff like that, and, but I was, I, I was never, like, a diehard disco fan. Gotcha. Um, I, I listened to a lot of music. When did you decide to move out to L.A., so to speak? How old were you? Um, and I would say, when did you actually get the bug 
to just say, I, this is kind of what I want to do for the rest of my life? I, I think, well, I knew I wanted to move to California. I just wanted to be by the beaches. I bought a Jeep. I was planning on moving down here. And uh, I, about the year 2000 is when I made the move down. And then I, I, I continued the restaurant business. I uh, was, a, uh, do you remember the bar Miyagi's on Sunset? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I used to bar back there. I was bar backing there. I just had, I worked at the Houston's in Century City as a bartender and then got into like the bar management and uh, just continue with the moment. And then, and then the acting came, I started doing background work on soaps. I was like, oh. you know what? I think I, should, I, I think I could do soaps. I think that's my little thing. So I started doing background work on, um, the first show was, uh, I think it was General Hospital. Yeah, I started doing background at General Hospital, and then it went to Young and the Restless, and then Days of Our Lives. I think I did a couple things on Port Charles. So that kind of got me into the acting, was doing that kind of stuff. And then, then I just continued, yeah. Awesome. First, quote unquote, aside from background work, what was your first acting gig? Like, that, your, your first like professional acting gig? You know, I, um, I did... Uh, well, I, I was doing some commercials and stuff, but as far as the acting gig, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of a funny, it was, it was like one of those Skinaflex, Skinaflex uh -oh. things or something like uh -oh. that. I can't remember what it was called, but uh, that was kind of like my first gig or whatever. And uh, I bared a little nudity. Uh-oh, there we go. And uh, <laughs> I just, I, I was really, I just knew I needed to develop my, my acting reel. I'm like, oh, how do I get acting like I knew how to get the modeling stuff yeah. use photographers build that I just didn't know how to get the actors so I just took whatever I could you know gotcha. and just started collecting everything gotcha yeah. and, and, and 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 was that was that uncomfortable because I mean you're your physique guy I mean yeah. was that uncomfortable for you or were you just more like uh, oh whatever I like to show off my, my, my bod so to speak yeah Actually, I remember what it was called. So it was, it was, it was, it was a, it was like a Fast and the Fierce. It was called, it was called. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's fine. It's okay. Because, you know, everyone's done nudity. So, yeah. So it was called Maximum Thrust. Okay. And I, I, I played Naguyen. It was the Asian, like, you know, all the Asian guys do about that he was working on the car, whatever. So my role was like the nice Asian guy or whatever. And, uh, yeah, they basically sold it as, oh, yeah, it's like a spin off of Fast and the Fierce. So I was like, perfect. I love Fast yeah. and the Furious. You know what I mean? Like it's gonna be it. Yeah. So that's what it was, and that's what I did. And uh, yeah, that that was. I think that was my one of my first early acting on camera with lines and scenes. The uh, I had I had a couple love scenes, uh -oh. and I was actually you know I I was actually it was exciting. It was exciting uh -oh. well, for me. You know, yeah. anyone that's on when yeah. you're on the set, yeah. whether you're an extra, whether you're a starring role or anything, yeah. I think for me, um, you know, it's always exciting. And so it's just kind of cool. And so from that, now, did you ever consider yourself a singer? You know, I was not doing any singing or dancing at that time. No, okay. No. Yeah. So then, um, well, speaking of singing, what, let's say, let's do this. Maybe we could hold off and thrust. Yes. James Kwong. <laughs> match the beat. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> That's awesome. Um, and, uh, you know, so, well, I, I didn't get a chance. Uh, Louis Delgado, as a guest host, is there any um, questions you have of James Kwong before we get into the nitty gritty of his earlier career or anything like that? Well, I, I just had a question. How, how do your friends felt when the, the agent took you instead of them? Um, they actually didn't say much. I think they were, they were actually, they were happy. They, they, awesome. they, didn't, they didn't mind that. that, that that's awesome. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're football players, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, what about your parents? Did your parents even know you did that? Uh, yeah, I, I did tell them, and I don't know how happy they were about that or not, but I actually, they did, they came to my shows, so. Okay. Yeah, they supported. Awesome. Now, so let's go from acting, modeling. Now, how did um, you get into the Village People? Because, I mean, that, that was, it's a legendary group. You said you, 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 you heard the songs, but you didn't really follow too much about them. So how did that all come about? Like, you, you know, I mean, because obviously, you did, and, and forgive me on the history of the Village People, um, but do they, were all the members still around? I, I think some had passed, am I, am I correct or incorrect? Right, you're correct. And then, so, were they looking for a new member, and how did, how did you hear about that? I believe in, like, 2000, uh, I'd say 2015, somewhere around there, so the, the you know there was a lawsuit pending, and uh, so the, apparently the the lead singer filed a lawsuit to get ownership back of the group, which he did, and uh, he's 
basically got all the rights back to his music. Yeah. And uh, and so he just, I, I think he asked a few of the members to come back into the group. I'm not quite sure, or yeah, they didn't want to leave the other lead singer or something. I, I, I just, I don't really know the real truth about that. I don't really want to say. Yeah. So he's basically like, you know what? Let, let me just make my own new group. Mm -hmm. And so that's that's what he did. And awesome. uh, that was in 2017 yeah and so I I went to an audition actually in I think in in Studio City did you know what it was for or they just uh, what did it say like they say for yeah. a new, new village person village people no person? the uh, the audition it was it was it was like a print audition and it I, I can't remember said village people I think it did I didn't I didn't put the two together I didn't no, it was the village people. Yeah. I think it said a print ad, village people, and that was it. And so I, I showed up, and uh, they had me put on a, a construction <laughs> helmet. Yeah. I think I wore a tool belt. I'm not quite sure. Yeah. <laughs> and there was me and another guy, um, and they just brought us in the room. They played the music, and I said, all right, just sing and dance and do whatever to the song, and that was it. Wow. wow. Yeah, and then uh, then I think she called me later that day or the next day and was just asking me like, a bunch of questions uh, about my sexuality and just uh, other questions or whatever. And I was just, I, I didn't really know what it was. Then I kind of put it together. Yeah. And uh, they're like, okay, well, it's, it's between you and the other guy who was Caucasian, which uh -huh. I was like, oh, well, uh, of course he's getting so it. So then I did a little research on the village people. And um, yeah, but I was like, you know, obviously it's going to, you know, the, the old construction worker was yes. a Caucasian guy. Right. So I'm like, well, I'm Asian. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So anyways, yeah, uh, I guess they just wanted to mix it up. And uh, yeah, so since that, and then and then our first, we did a, actually, we did a photo shoot. Yeah. So I th they were rebranding the group and doing a, like a, a photo shoot to get uh, marketing material and stuff. And they were just swapping me out with the Caucasian guy. And, uh, and then we, I got to meet the other, the, the new members and stuff. And it was just a one day shoot somewhere out here. I can't remember where. And uh, then maybe a couple days ago, they are like, yeah, fill this contract out. And that was it. Wow. So did you know um, you were going to like start going, did they tell you like you're going to go on a tour and all this stuff? And how did like, were you like, whoa, I just thought this was a print ad. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. They started like, yeah, okay, well, we're going to be doing shows, this and that, and all over. And can you travel and this and that? And yeah. Wow. So what's that? <laughs> Ironically, in general. Yeah, yeah. What year was this? Oh gosh. Oh, several years ago. Okay. Several years ago. Uh, now I'm trying to, you know, re recollect. But it was definitely before this. Before oh, okay. You were, yeah, yeah. I would say a good ten years, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, uh, back, yeah. back in 2000. Wait, it has to be like 2008 ish. Maybe yeah. 2009. Yeah. His wife is is part of something like that. Yeah. She okay. That, yeah. That's, that's what Karen it was. Willis. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's yeah. Because yeah, I I just I didn't want to. Speculate. I just remember he was somehow affiliated or knew someone involved, yeah. and uh, but he was on the way. So that's that's kind of how we how I met him. Yeah, yeah. And um, oh, that's funny. very nice gentleman. And I just remember, <laughs> oh, he was really cool. He was from the you know yeah. yeah, from the village people, and he was really like I said, uh, pick chops and everything. Yeah. He was really really nice guy. So yeah. it's funny that you mentioned him. So a big shout out to Victor Willis. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's the man. And what do you want to start to pursue and what have you got into now? Because I know you've gotten into some other stuff that you also want to talk about. Right, right, yeah. So March we was our last show um, and, and when the COVID hit. So we just been doing like, uh, we did a couple of Christmas songs, uh, mm -hmm. videos and stuff like that. So it's just all virtual stuff. Uh, we, um, so that's just kind of on hiatus right now until probably summer, maybe after summer, mm -hmm. they're saying. Uh, so now, so I, I, I stayed true to my roots with the acting. So I, I've definitely been uh, doing a lot of uh, auditions. Uh, as you know, like it's all self tape now. Correct. Uh, I think it's uh, it's just funny how the entertainment industry just changed, you know. Yeah. And I had, I had questions for you as well, but uh, so just just everything is self tape now, and uh, you know I just uh, I, I worked on a uh, so Gwyneth Paltrow she has her uh, Netflix series called Goop. Uh, they're doing a, a, a second season, and so I did a, a little feature on there uh, awesome. yesterday. Awesome. Uh, but it it feels natural and good to be on set. I, yeah. I really I really enjoy. I love being on stage, but being on set is is also amazing. And and uh, I, I don't think I'll ever give that up. Right. And uh, but you know the village people, it, it's a lot of fun, and I get to travel. 
and so um but you know it took me a little bit away from the acting uh yeah. traveling a lot i miss a lot of stuff but uh you know i they're both really fun gigs i, I feel blessed i'm always like with the acting I'm like am i when am i going to get a break and um you know Fortunately, the village people came along. Yeah. <laughs> it's not acting; it kind of is, but uh, you but know, you created like a fan base as well. Yeah, like. yeah, they they still have their fan base, and uh, you know he he's doing a lot of stuff. He he he, he has a a, um, a a podcast with Apple. And okay. I, I, I just talked to him actually the other day. We had a talk, and uh, he's doing he's doing a lot of stuff. They they are going to be doing a, a biopic as well. Wow, like kind of like uh, you know. Like, all those bands like yeah, yeah. You know, well, I can't say well it's, yeah it's like Bohemian Rhapsody something like that okay um, oh you, they, they're, they're gonna be a movie they're like, doing a movie oh, yeah wow, that'd be great. Those people yeah and they talked about like a reality show and stuff he's writing a book and uh, so there, there's there's a lot of stuff coming wow. out yeah so I'm okay. excited so